Good morning, YouTubers, friends, and family from around the world. This is Mike with the Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on Friday, September 13th, 2019. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Welcome to another look at space weather, world weather, and earthquakes, disaster alerts from around the world. Brought to you by Morning Dew. Looking here at our sun, as we do have a southern region coronal hole that has formed overnight, moving towards the equator. So that will be an Earth-facing coronal hole wind stream. We did see a small increase in the solar wind speeds up to 475 kilometers per second. Let's get to the last 24 hours for earthquakes as it has been very busy. Most recent being here, the 4.5 in, in Afghanistan at 115 kilometer depth. Now a lot of deep earthquakes recently. We had a very deep 600 kilometer depth earthquake in Fiji, and then all of this happened. 5.1 Indian Ridge, mid-Indian Ridge. We also had, now let's get to the just past 24 hours, because there was an earthquake here, a 5.0 southwest of Africa. West Chile rise. And then all these deep earthquakes in South America, Bolivia 4.7, at 585 kilometer depth. Stay aware and prepared. Cascadia Fault Line. I do believe we're going to have a lot of action here recently and soon. Japan with a 498 kilometer depth. Seeing an increase. Hawaii and as well increase here. Ridgecrest, San Andreas. Look at all the earthquakes here. Just recently, we had a 2.5 Manhattan, Montana. Earthquakes in the Philippines, 5.2, a 4.2, and then two 5.0, and a 4.7 earthquakes in Russia. So that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes from around the world. Let's look at the last seven days as we're still seeing a deep earthquake event happening around the planet. Every continent right now not being spared by the deep earthquakes. Well, actually, except for Africa. But those deep earthquakes are pretty close. So stay aware and prepared. Next 24 to 36 hours will be foretelling because of those deep earthquakes. We're also going to have a look at volcanoes from around the world, because right now we have 34 active and erupting volcanoes. You're looking at Colima, Popo, Santa, San, Santia Guito, Bacaya, and Fuego, as well as Masaya. Moving into South America, Reventador, Sangay, Sabancaya Volcano, and as well Ubinas Volcano, which has erupted again, Nevados de Chilean Volcano, and here's a couple new ones, Copahu Volcano, and as well Villarira. Now these were both, both have erupted since the 10th. September 10th, they both became active again. And over to Greece here, where of course we have Stromboli and Etna, who are very active. And then in Africa, Erta Ale Volcano. And then these ones are very hard to pronounce. We've got the Nirigongo Volcano. And as well, the Naya Mirigira, Naya Mirigira volcano in Africa, just west of Lake Malawi. And then Indonesia, very active, Kerenchi volcano, Krakatoa volcano, Tangkub, Bruhu volcano, that's a new one as well, Merapi volcano, Simaru. Sengang Api, 
and then into the Philippines, Ibu, Dokono, and Karangatang. Moving north into Japan, and we have Suinisajima, Sakirajima, and as well Aso, a volcano, all on alert, and then actively erupting here in Kamchatka, Ebuko, Kermiski, and of course Shivlush, who's still very active. Alaskan Peninsula, Lucian Islands, Shishaldin Volcano, and Seismapoichnoi. Getting down into Papua New Guinea, yes sir. And then finally, Antarctica, Mount Erubus, Volcano Erubus, who is still active. So those are all the volcanoes that are actively erupting from around the world. Just a quick update for you there. Now off to weather. We're going to look at the windy maps showing a five-day forecast here for the tropical storm. Southeastern United States forming over the Bahamas. Now this storm will not affect the eastern seaboard of the United States, but only Florida, possibly Georgia. And then it's going to be quickly ushered to the sea. The only thing that you guys, that the eastern seaboard might be feeling is the wind and a strong convergence line. But you can see here, this storm is not going to make landfall. At least with this forecast, windy.com, not forecasting a landfall for this tropical storm. But we are watching some tropical storms form in the East Pacific as well, heading up into New Mexico, in the Bay Area. Two tropical storms right beside each other. One is going to be very tightly whipped and organized heading into the Bay and then into land. So we'll be keeping an eye on that situation as well. Overlooking the last four days, visible image of North America. Very large low pressure system that developed over Colorado has been producing tornadoes and extreme weather for the past 48 hours across the Midwestern Plains and into Saskatchewan and Manitoba. But watch as that ushers north, then another low pressure possible Alberta clipper forming in Alberta, heading east. Five day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth, Meteor Mike. Around the world we go. Massive amounts of moisture falling around the world. Five day forecast here for the tropical storm in the Bahamas. As you can see, just reaching the coastline of Florida. And then quickly, as I said, ushering out into the Atlantic Ocean. Now that depends. It may gain strength over the next 24 hours, just like Dorian did. And that's if we get a intense coronal hole wind stream. We had over 750 kilometers per second to ramp up that Hurricane Dorian. Overlooking Western Canada, cooler temperatures starting to really move in. Snowfall totals starting to gain in Alaska and Northern BC. Watching a large low later in the week. Affecting Alaska and the BC coastline. West Pacific, not very organized storm, but a large low pressure system with many vortices in it. Heading towards Japan and then out to the Pacific again. So no landfall for that tropical storm. Watching extreme weather and flooding throughout parts of Western India and Nepal region. Africa, not too much to talk about there. Europe, United Kingdom. Now watch this as we have multiple loads moving in 
to the United Kingdom. Look at that. Huge. They all join forces into one large low pressure system and that's what they've been doing across the northern hemisphere. Same situation here in Russia. I want to thank all of my new subscribers. Welcome to the family. Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide where I post my severe weather analysis, disaster alerts from around the world, studying world weather, space weather, geological events. Overlooking Africa. As, as I said, not much to talk about there. A little bit of relief for parts of Nigeria. But the situation in Nigeria is more rain and a possible tropical storm forming off the coast. South America, no relief in sight for Brazil, Bolivia, Paraguay, dealing with forest fires. Leave you here looking at the Southern Hemisphere crazy stuff. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your morning due. Thanks for watching today. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.